guys, I just wanted to come to you tonight with something that's been on my heart and something that's been on my mind. It is July 4th weekend, and as I have noticed scrolling through my social media, there's tons of families and friends that are gathering together, having parties, celebrating the birth of our nation. And during this time, I've noticed one couple after the other couple after the other become engaged. Now, what does that have to do with me, James Mitchell, you might ask? Well, this is what it is. I am 29 years old. I am single. I've never been married. I have no children. And no, that is not a dating advertisement for you to date me if you are a, a single female. But what that is is to let you know those that are struggling with loneliness, discouragement, and despair in times like this, guess what? You're not alone. I struggle with those thoughts and emotions and feelings as well. Wondering and I ask God and I wonder about it and I say, God, why why not me? Why is that not me? Why have I not found the person? Are you what are you doing, God? And so I often, yes, I ask God these things. I in my prayers I am honest and I am uh, forthright with God and I ask him what is going on. But I read a book one time by C.S. Lewis called Mere Christianity, and he gave an excellent quote that I feel does deal with this situation. He said, if you look for yourself, in the long run, you're going to find hatred, loneliness, rage, despair, ruin, and decay. But if you look for Christ, then you will find Christ in all things that you else that you look for are thrown in. And so I encourage you, you are not alone in those feelings. It is not wrong to feel those things when you see that. But maybe it is not that God hasn't got someone ready for us. Maybe we're not ready for that person. And so we really need to look to Christ in times like that when we feel those things. And that doesn't just apply to loneliness because you don't have a spouse or a significant other. That applies to any time when you wonder what is going on in your life, whether it be ministry, whether it be relationships, whether it be your family and your discouragement, waiting on them to come into the church and find Christ and be filled with His Spirit, whatever it may be, look for Christ and everything else is going to be thrown in. Have a happy 4th of July weekend and God bless you all.